Hey guys, this will be the weekly reading for Scorpio. Let's take a look, see what's going on with you guys. This will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I do offer personal readings if you're interested in that. Um, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading. This could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys, what you guys need to know, insight, advice. Some of you guys dealing with the Virgo. Somebody's withdrawing from a situation here. Ooh, hold on. And somebody doesn't know what the future holds. Yeah. Wow, there's a situation. There's a cycle closing out for you. Well, hold on. Let's see. Hmm. Guys, there is a lot of um, energy of people. Okay, so karmic relationships are coming to an end is what I'm heavily getting um, download. Do you like I'm getting this from the divine is that karmic relationships are coming to an end. So if you guys see a lot of situations in these readings where there's people leaving other people and pursuing other relationships or that's why, all right? There's a shift happening here. People that have been dealing with karmics, those situations, they're learning the lessons. Those situations are coming to an end and now they're coming into divine union with who they're, you know, their, their counterparts. That's what I'm seeing here in a lot of these readings. People are finally learning the lessons that spirit was trying to teach them with these karmic situations. But anyways, let's get into what I'm really seeing here. So somebody is definitely withdrawing from a situation. Somebody is realizing they have a lot of healing. They're, they're gaining some type of enlightenment. Either somebody is feeling like they have a lot of healing to do before they can even be in a relationship. Um, like I said, some of you guys can be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but somebody is realizing that they have a lot of soul searching to do, a lot of work on themselves that they need to do before they're in a, and they know that that's an obstacle. Or somebody is gaining some type of enlightenment that they need to put their guard up in a situation or there's too many obstacles for a situation to be able to come together. And I do see a breakup here. I see an ending of a relationship. I see a cycle closing out. I'm, I feel like this is heavily a karmic cycle. Um, but now somebody is afraid of the future. Somebody doesn't know what's going to happen. But, but somebody, it's like somebody is... I feel like this is... A divine this is a faded event Think are, things are progressing exactly how they were supposed to be somebody is scared because the situation maybe ended pretty badly maybe somebody was left heartbroken there were some you know not so pleasant circumstances around this breakup but what's actually manifesting here guys some of you guys can be dealing with the fire sign too Aries, leo sagittarius i'm trying to see if there's any other signs that i see pisces energy here but um, there's a there's ultimate happiness and fulfillment manifesting here, but it's after somebody has has made the the has spoken the communication or made the moves or made the progress in closing out this other situation. All right, Queen of Wands. To me, a lot of times the Queen of Wands. This is either you guys in a very passionate, confident taking the initiative type energy, moving towards stability and abundance, manifesting that for yourself, a new beginning, or somebody here is ending a situation, a karmic situation that needed to be ended. And now there's ultimate happiness and fulfillment manifesting here with another person. And it looks like it's going to be something stable, abundant, successful. All right. Somebody is making the decision here to communicate. Oof, what is this?
So we have the seven of swords here. So there is a new stable beginning manifesting, guys. There is a new stable beginning manifesting, stability, abundance, success. Somebody is making a decision or they're having an awakening here. Somebody also may be wanting to resurrect a situation here from the past. And there's going to be communication coming in about doing that. Somebody is trying to strategize here. How to have this stability, how to have this commitment, this union. Somebody's trying is listening to their intuition about what's going to be um what's going to bring them fulfillment, what's going to bring them happiness. And yeah, it's like they're they're listening to their intuition and they're realizing that they're not going to be able to have this wish fulfillment or have these blessings, this happiness fulfillment unless they abandon another situation here so this is definitely like a third party situation it's like um someone leaving a karmic to pursue their divine counterpart type energy here they're and they're moving towards pretty quickly towards a it looks like an earth sign somebody or somebody that they view as very grounded somebody that's very stable mature nurturing they they're gaining clarity about that all right. It's like they're making a decision. They know what path they want to go down. Now they're trying to manifest, you know, things coming to fruition in that, you know, with that path. But um, yeah. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Capricorn, but somebody is stuck in their head. Somebody's overthinking things. They may be overthinking if you guys will be able to come together, have, you know, work together, collaborate, have this victory. Um, but it looks like they're wanting to work on things, but um, they're just having a lot of anxiety and stress about it at this time. I feel like somebody else, I feel like somebody in this is realizing that they were, they had this new beginning in love waiting for them a long time ago, but they were holding back their feelings. Them holding back their feelings or not offering something became very toxic to them, all right? It became a burden to them and it was holding them back from having this long-term stability with you is what I'm feeling like. It was it was holding them back from having that stability, that abundance, that family that they have desired. But I feel like this person's seeing things a lot more clear now. Um, they're gaining clarity. They see the truth of situations now. And now they're healing. It's like some things had to fall apart in this person's life for them to be able to grow up, for them to ascend, to step into their power. This person could be keeping tabs on you or they're coming, they're going to be finding out some type of information here that's going to make them take action. This person may be wanting to come towards you. If you guys live at a distance from each other, they're wanting to travel to you. Or they're going to want to try to make peace with you, come to a compromise, offer you something stable here, a commitment. But I feel like this person is pessimistic. They're not sure if you're going to want to still invest in them or if they're going to even be able to have the opportunity to invest in you. But I feel like this person wants to at least get their feelings off of their chest, tell you how they feel. I don't feel like they're ready to give up on this connection, but they're definitely coming back. There's going to be a return here because this person's looking at things differently and they're ready to take a leap of faith and have a new beginning here. So they're finally have the, they finally have found the strength to, to make a decision 
and now there's abundance manifesting there's happiness and fulfilling positivity positive outcomes positivity manifesting is what i'm seeing and look at the situations oracle cards to take a deeper look at what's going on here Tell me what's going on. Tell me more about what's happening here. Wow. Yeah, this um hold on. This person is very focused on you. Um, they can't resist this. They have this this person may not be very spiritual or very awakened, so they're feeling this very strong pull towards you and they feel like they cannot like it's very magnetic. They feel this very magnetic attract like um connection with you and they feel like they can't resist. Like it's like they're it's like they're being sorry guys, I had to take a drink of water, but they're feeling this extremely strong pull to come together with you, to reconcile with you, to have this union with you. Um, you and this person could have a soul contract, but they're they're about to take a risk. They're about to take a gamble, take a risk towards you, take a leap of faith here. And they're going to confess to you, confess something to you. And I told you, I feel like it's their feelings um, or what they what their intentions are. But I feel like, didn't I say this person, there's something about this person moving or traveling, coming towards you. This person may be wanting you to move towards them or... They're going to be location change. Like they could be coming towards you, traveling to you, or you they wanting you to travel to them, whatever it is. Somebody could also be um, buying a new house or relocating, something along those lines. But this person's not going to be able to hold back from you, their feelings back from you much longer. That's what I'm saying. This person's going to like kind of cut just impulsively. They're just going to kind of impulsively come in and take this leap of faith, take this gamble and confess something to you they're hoping and praying that um their wish is for you to be able to is you you are their divine feminine i'm telling you i told you this is twin this is divine counterpart union that's man trying to manifest here but they're hoping that they can come in and negotiate their way back into your life bargain they may even beg for your forgiveness or for you to let them back into the life but they're very much focused on you all right they're watching you on social media as well all right so let's see here let's get some advice for you guys and um look at your spiritual journey your awakening journey what you guys are attracting what you're manifesting All right. <laughs> we have inner guidance. 
there's a you guys need to trust your intuition you need to listen to your intuition follow your intuition this could also be the energy that your person is embodying the divine is trying to guide you listen to that gut feeling that you guys have if something doesn't feel right trust that if something feels good trust that Discernment is very important. Yeah, you guys need to be able to look at... there. Some of you guys are living in illusions too. And if you're living in an illusion, you're not going to be able to discern between what's good and bad for you or what feels good and what feels bad. So there's a really big, there's a really big need for you guys to listen to your intuition, to connect with source, to really listen to what it is that they're trying to guide you or they're trying to tell you about situations, not what you want. Or what you desire to happen in a, in a situation, but what they're they what is fated, what they what they have for you, what they have planned for you. There's a need to take responsibility here. This could be your person. This could also be you. Take what resonates, but there's a need. Somebody is taking responsibility for their life, owning up to what they did, what they could have done differently, or what they could have done, um, or how what they done to lead them up to to this point where they're at in life. Um, but somebody is, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in to ask for your forgiveness, taking responsibility for what they've done. Um, somebody wanted, is wanting to make amends here. I feel like somebody is not going to even be able to manifest anything else in their life until they, they make amends or make peace with this situation. All right. Um, something happened in, in your life or in this person's life that was like a tower moment. It, you had it's a, there's a need like you guys are in a place where you guys are going to have to restructure your whole life but this was a blessing and it's making space for better things to come into your life solutions are manifesting and what's manifesting for you now is going to meet your needs going to meet your um emotional needs it's very important to surround yourself with people That are positive and have high bright that are high vibrational. There's a this is the second card that's talking about you guys need to connect with yourself more and connect with source more so that you guys can get um clear guidance, clarity, see things for what they really are. But you guys are manifesting a soul tribe, a soul family. And then this is why I giggled. We have go for it on the back of the deck. Somebody's stepping outside of their comfort zone, doing something that they, that they never, that they don't usually do. There, there we have that plane again, guys. Somebody is going to be traveling to you. I'm telling you, or you guys are going to be traveling to somebody. It doesn't have to be necessarily on a plane, but just travel in general. I just saw 1818 on the camera. But... Somebody's taking a leap of faith here. They're making plans. Somebody's getting listening to their intuition and feeling like now is the time, the right time to take action towards something, to manifest something. And it looks like if this person does take this leap of faith, that there's going to be a positive outcome. Somebody is in, in alignment right now and they're able to get those, listen to those nudges and to understand those nudges for when to do things and when to take action, what they should pursue, blah, blah, blah. But... Somebody's taking a leap of faith here, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to be extending this reading, um, but like I said, I do offer personal readings if you're interested in that. There's information in the description box, but if not, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.